all right hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you I hope my voice is coming clear from your side uh, please invite your friends and tell everybody that we are here uh, today our topic is again about Israel but it's not really mm, it's not really necessarily about Israel even though the title is saying so uh, you know I made a video just uh, two days ago about Israel and this is the land of Israel and even Gaza those Arab who live there they have no right to be inside that land they themselves are in occupation and they are not Palestinians Palestinians are if we if we go back to history we will find that those are ancient people exist in that land and they have nothing to do with those Arab who invade that land there is no more Palestinian exist it is a big fat lie the first time the Arab came to Jerusalem is long after the death of Muhammad the founder of Islam and this is what is registered even in Islamic books and we showed you from the Quran chapter 5 verse 21 where the Quran is stated clearly that this is the land of the Jews which mean even the Quran the book of the devil witness that this is the book of the, this is the land of the Jews but you know as usual the Muslims they take over a place and then they call themselves with the name of that place so if, if the Muslim take over Germany they will say we are German but they are not they are came as a refugee and by time they breathe and they take over the country if this is happening I hope not uh, in the case of uh, Israel the Muslims came by the sword occupy Israel occupy Syria occupy Iraq occupy Egypt Tunisia Algeria Morocco Libya you name it and then they forced those African to be subdued or to die. When we say the word Palestinian, that means this is a nation, they have their own language. What is the language of the Palestinian? What is the language of those who you, you call them Palestinian in TV? Arabic? How, how the Palestinian became speaking Arabic how the Syrians speak in Arabic how the Lebanese are speaking Arabic how the Moroccan is speaking Arabic those are not Arab and they have nothing to do with the Arab and they have nothing to do with the language of the Arabic the answer is very simple Islam take over dominate either by sword or by other way and then they force Arabic in everybody and then they force you to claim to be an Arab even if you are not so either they have to admit that they are Arab if those people who live there calling themselves Arab then they are Arab if we ask the leader of Hamas if we ask Abbas who they call him president quote unquote he is just a mafia guy scumbag what is your nationality he will say to you I am an Arab you are an Arab then you are not a Palestinian Palestinian are not Arab as simple as that it's over however I'm not going to discuss about who have the right because all books even Islamic books state that this is the land of the Jews including the Quran actually if you open the Quran and you search the whole Quran from the first page to the last page you will not find the word Palestine even exist in the book of the devil why because Muhammad he never thought that time will come and those people they will be fighting with the Jews so he did not fabricate a verse saying this is Allah saying to me Palestine is the land of the Arab Muhammad he confirmed that there is something is called the Arabian Peninsula is the land of the Arab nothing more this is why Muhammad in the hadith he said if I am victorious I am going to do genocide I'm going to slaughter or expel all the Christians and the Jews from the Arabian Peninsula As you see in the front of your eyes this is the land belong to the Arab however even this land based on Islamic document and Islamic reference 
this is a land belong to the Jews why because Muhammad himself he claimed in the Quran that the one who built the Kaaba is Abraham well, thank you very much who is Abraham who is Abraham this is the grandfather of the Jews as simple as that even the Kaaba the house of Allah in Mecca the founder of it is the father of the Jews no we don't want to talk about Ramadan Ramadan is a joke Ramadan is not a month of fasting and we made videos about it in the month of Ramadan Muslims they kill more that's all it's a month of war this is why actually they are preparing themselves for this attack in Israel in Ramadan because Muslims believe if they die in Ramadan fighting the Jews and the Christians and the Hindus and the Buddhas then Allah will double their reward when it's come to women and sex what I wanted to talk about today is more than just Israel and Gaza you see the problem is some other place problem is my problem because I have a problem let me explain that to you the puppy Erdogan he have many agreement with the state of Israel even the Israeli they have a training programs for his army even he buy weapon from the Israeli the flag of Israel is a flying high in the middle of Ankara so why Erdogan in TV says things like this why Erdogan he expelled the ambassador of Israel out of Turkey all of this is just to seek publicity and to increase the number of people who sponsor you because you know the Jews the Jews are hated by the Muslims it's not a secret and Turkish at the end of the day they are Muslims majority of them they are Muslims and they hate the Jews so by going after the Jews I will make myself look like I am Salahuddin I am the one since the beginning of this guy trying to take over Turkey he presented himself as Salahuddin the one who will take back Jerusalem if you go and go by in time and you will see uh, uh, Erdogan st speaking about himself seeing a dream that he was walking in Jerusalem and he heard rivers underneath of him talking to him he heard God talking to him so he present himself that he is the one who will free Jerusalem from the land of the Jew from the hand of the Jews but the Muslims have nothing to do with Jerusalem this is the land of the Jews anyway but because he knew how to fool those idiots around him he will never go after Israel he will never dare to fart at Israel he will never dare even to throw a zucchini at Israel but yet in his speeches he play as a hero who present himself as the caliphate who is protecting Muslims and Islam but the truth is totally different and you will see Erdogan he will go more and more tough against Israel but not because he will do something serious against Israel he don't even dare this potato he don't even dare but because he have problems inside his country The Turkish economy, if you are watching the news, is collapsing with no mercy. Is collapsing. And Erdogan is facing his last days. You see, when economy go down, everything this guy he promised the Turkish about is gone. Because when people are hungry, they will not listen to your speeches no more. The Turkish currency lost more than 15% just in the last month of its value. And if you add it up, 
to what the Turkish currency lost in the last two months and the three months before and the four months before and the six months before, you will see that this country is facing a very bad situation. And in order for me as a president of Turkey, my name is Erdogan, to take the attention of my people of what the destiny is coming and the, the and, and the crazy end is going to face Turkey soon. I have to keep them busy with something else. The same as the American, by the way, they do. The American to take the attention of the scandals and the stupidity of the uh, uh, what we call them uh, Democrat in America they try to take all the attention to be about Russia so now we should not think about Hillary Clinton scandals about Hillary Clinton theft her husband Obama theft his wife theft the organization they make just to steal money from people and collect donation for a purpose is not what they do it for you see those people they don't collect donation to like when Hillary Clinton she collect donation, she collected supposed to support cancer. Not like Christian Prince. If he take donation, he tell you, "I'm going to buy my gas with it." He don't tell you he would do something else with it. They tell you, "Donate for us because we want to support cancer organization. We want to support childhood organization. We want to support the the people of Ur the earthquake in in uh, Haiti." But all the money goes to their pocket. Tons of millions came as gifts to Hillary Clinton, and nobody now is investigating that. They are investigating Russia. Why? Because the Democrat, since Trump took over, they try to divert. It's like you know, forward running away from 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 what is coming. So in order to stop Trump from coming after me, I go after him first and get him busy, so he will not be able to think straight. And he will not be able to go after me because I will keep him busy talking about the Russian. So now look what the what 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 the what those liberals they they are asking America to do. Just to show you the stupidity of those liberals. All of us we heard that the Russian they build a bridge between the Crimea and uh, Russia, and Crimea now is announced officially legally as part of the Russian state imagine a stupid idiot journalist in washington post who speak in the name of his famous organization huge organization asking the american army to bomb this bridge have you ever heard of madness more than this imagine if a trump is the one who said that the republican they will eat him alive but as long it is one of them, it's okay. But what is the purpose of those ideas? We know that America will never do that. We know that nobody have the balls to do that. And we know that America cannot fight Russia. This is Russia. This is not Saddam Hussein. What do you mean bomb their bridge? What do you what what is next after we bomb their bridge? What do you think? Those people are problem exporters their jobs their jobs is to export problems we have a problem inside the country it's called a trump so we need to export our problem to take the attention from our problem the real problem we have and to keep trump busy with things have nothing to do with the real problems we are having in the country so now number one problem for USA became Russia. But the fact this is not the problem. The problem is that we have a guy, his name is a Trump, and he promised to go after all the scum back in Washington, D.C. So in order not to give him even time to breathe, we have to keep going in Russia, 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 as if there's nothing in this world except Russia. Russia controlled the election, Russia controlled the media, Russia controlled the TV, Russia controlled etc. Russia controlled the hacking, Russia is, Russia is everything. And let us say for the sake of argument, Russia did all of those things. So, still, that will not change the fact 
that WikiLeak did not leak lies. It was true that Hillary Clinton, she is a scumbag. Let us say it is the Russian who hacked the computer on Hillary Clinton. Who care? What they gave us about her is a true, not a lie. So in countries, always, they try to export their problems to take the attention of their own citizen from a problem they are suffering from and make you focus in a problem have nothing to do with you and you will not even do anything about it. Who in the world believe that the American is going to bomb this bridge? Who dare? Russia will burn us alive. Russia is not only a super powerful country, Russia can burn the whole earth at least, at least maybe 70 times, 80 times. What are you talking about? You were afraid even to fight a potato. His name, Jim Kom Kim Chong Ching. He is a president of a country, have 20 million citizens, not Russia. And this is the purpose of my video. When you see people speaking about countries, other countries, trying to focus on other countries, you need to ask yourself the first question, why they don't focus on their own problems? The answer is very simple. I have many problems in my country, and I want to take the attention of my people from what I am doing and put the light in someone else. The same as the filthy Billy Clinton, he attacked Serbia, which is a Christian country defending their own land against the Muslims' aggression, and they gave Kosovo, which is the heart of the Serbian. Kosovo, guys, is not a city, any city. This is the heart of Serbian. The first king of the Serbian is from Kosovo, which means their kingdom started there. And the filthy Clinton, just to take the light from his scandal with Monica Lewinsky, he started a war in Europe, killing tens of thousands of Christians just to cover what is running in his panty. As simple as that. We go, we invade a country, we, kill, we destroy thousands of people, and we kill, and we establish an Islamic state in the heart of Europe. It's called Bosnia, full of Mujahideen, just because. Billy Clinton, he have a scandal with his secretary just to take the light from here to there. And the naive one, they think really that Clinton, he was defending, you know, like in the media, they start showing you the Serbian as evil, disgusting. They did mascara. Go and see what the Muslims did to them. Those people, they are just doing what they need to survive. The Muslims are is killing them too. They they made, they did tens of massacres against them. If you do a massacre against somebody, if you are a person who is important, nobody speak speak about you. If the media is with you, you are a hero. You see, for sure I am against Hitler, but just to give you an idea, what if Hitler was the winner of the war? Do you think anybody will dare to speak about Hitler, the fascist? No. If Hitler won the war, you today you will be praising Hitler. And your TV station will be speaking about how amazing he is. You know what I mean? Always the winner, he write history. The winner, he write the history. I'm not saying Hitler is a good guy. Absolutely not. But the one who win, he is the one who decide what the news will say. And when you lose, you have no voice. That's it. You're gone. It's called with the dog. I'm not sure about this term, but I'm learning English from you. So problem importing is a huge part of our media. A huge part of our propaganda and this is happening all over so now Israel Israel is having a problem with the Israel with the Palestinian quote quote they are the Arab not Palestinian 
And now we need to take the attention of the Turkish people from the collapse of the economy of Turkey. We have a president in Turkey. He promised them heaven. He promised them Islamic state. He promised them he will bring the Sharia law. He promised them. He promised them. And then the Turkish, they found that all his promises was nothing but a scam because this is what Islamic state is about. It's about a scam. The same what happened in Egypt. When Morsi, he took the, uh, went to the election, before the election, five days before the election, Morsi group, the Muslim Brotherhood, they have a big celebration preparing for the election, propaganda. Morsi, he spoke about how he would destroy Israel, how he will expel the Jews, and he won the election. I mean, this is what the people are waiting for. His people, they hate the Jews. A week after he took the office as a president of Egypt, he sent a letter to the president of Israel, or sorry, the prime minister, saying to him, my dear. <laughs> a week ago, he was saying he want to kill the Jews. A week after, he sent a letter to the Prime Minister of Israel saying to him, my dear. You know what I mean? My dear? It sounds like we are in love. It sounds like somebody speaking to his girlfriend. So in TV, he want to kill the Jews. He want to destroy the Jews. He want to destroy Israel in the letter. My dear. This is how they are. They fool the population. What the, what the population like to hear? Those Muslims, they hate the Jews. We speak about the Jews. Come on. Get them what they want. Anyway, we will not go in war with the Jews. For very simple reason. The Jews are strong. We are weak. Each time we attack them, they beat the hell of us. But in the TV, we say... Death to America, death to the Jews, and then Iran, Iran, buying from Israel. In the TV, they say death to Israel, and then they buy from Jewish businessmen all the exchange parts for their airplanes. Yeah, you know, you have to take the light away from you and you make smoke as as you said. Uh, but you know, the, the problem is people don't understand. People, they think that this is really what's going to happen. When 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 a Washington uh, 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 Post journalist, he, he asked for bombing the bridge between Russia and, uh, 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 and uh, Crimea. Was he fired? for making such a statement no i mean what kind of a newspaper will allow such a thing a war monger to be taking a, a, a front page in the newspaper you see this is go far beyond taking the attention this is about stupidity now because the russian they are not deaf they just heard you saying that And this is Russia. This is not the Assad regime in Syria. Have an army of potatoes. You can fry them overnight. This is not a country like Saddam Hussein. This is not the Kuwait. This is not Afghanistan. This is not Taliban. So we as an American citizen, we need to stop those people by even suing them and taking to the court. Because who is going to be responsible if war happened because of big mouth like those people how many millions american and russian will die because a stupid idiot it's for the benefit of who they want to start a war with the russian democrat democrat is the sixth column inside usa now they are asking to do investigation against killing the, Palest the innocent Palestinian 
by the army of Israel imagine Democrat just two months ago they were promising Israel if you vote for us if you make the Jews vote for us if you use your lobby to vote for us we will give you even more assistance now they lost the election they want to take revenge from Israel No, my Skype is not on yet. Uh, you as a citizen, you have to be very careful. Uh, and by the way, when I say a citizen, does not mean you are an American or Canadian, or it doesn't matter which country you are from. Always be careful from what they say to you in the media. Most of the media speak about things have nothing to do with your problem. Attacking a bridge in Russia will not give us better jobs and will not give us better life in America It's going to be the opposite because they can destroy all our bridges overnight The president of Turkey Sending away The Israeli ambassador will not solve the problems of Turkey Actually, the second day he sent away the ambassador of Israel, it was the same day the Turkish economy starts sinking like crazy. But by the way, it's sinking for the last year. It's not like something new. They try to export their problems, but that is a sign of his stupidity and weakness. The problem of Turkey is not Israel. The problem of Turkey is Erdogan. The man who built a palace have 1,000 sweet. 1,000? What you would do with 1,000? This is one the Arabian night, 1,000 night. This man is a madman. His country is poor and is taking a lot of money. Actually, the, the, one of the reasons for the economy of Turkey is not collapsing until now. It is the money they beg from European Union for the refugee. They take hundreds of millions and billions of money from the from that from the German, French, etc. But they don't spend this money in the refugee. They give the refugee a few dollars for food, and the rest goes to their pocket. But that will not stay for long. Actually, I believe that the European they have to get ready for a new wave of refugee, and this time the refugee will be the Turkish himself. If Turkey collapse and the economy of Turkey collapse, people they will storm, the people of Turkey, they will storm Europe. Especially we have a stupid government in Europe, like the Chancellor of Germany, who they want their borders open. Everybody is welcome. Everybody is welcome. Tomorrow you will have 100 million Turkish all over Europe. Do you dream about Erdogan? Are you scared? My friend, he is the one is scared. Your Erdogan is scared. We are not. Let me tell you why. If your Erdogan claim to be a hero and he is the head of the Islamic country, have a 100 million citizen, yet he don't dare to fart at Israel. I mean, what he did to Israel when he expelled the ambassador, well, thank you very much. This is the best you can do. Who is the one is scared? What about your Turkish president? Says Allahu Akbar, I want to do jihad in Israel, but he's a coward, he's a potato. Who is the one is scared? Huh? Yeah, when he when, when your flag fly anywhere, let me know. Guys, the flag, look, look at this. The flag of Allah will fly. Can you tell me which country is the flag of Allah? Is it flying over it? None. Even in Saudi Arabia, what is a flying there is our awaks. All your Islamic countries is under the command of the King Trump. Two weeks after Trump became a president, 
the Saudi they kiss his ass to come and they bring him 60 Muslim king to kiss his ass too and to pay their tribute to Trump that is the truth and Turkey in case you do not know have three major American base in the middle of Turkey what kind of country respect itself allowed foreigners to take its space especially those foreigners are kuffar so who is the one his flag is above who we have american army base in saudi arabia we have american base in emirat even they don't talk about it we have american base in qatar a huge one in the qatari they pay for it we have base in turkey we have base in Syria, we have base in Iraq, we have base in Afghanistan, and we are flying all over Pakistan, and even we jump in the middle of Afghanistan or Pakistan, and we got Osama bin Laden like a chicken, we make him barbecue, and we throw him in the ocean. Where is your flag? Can you tell me where I can locate your flag? The flag of Allah? Where? Exactly. This is the truth. And Muslims always, they import their problem. Hamas is collapsing. Hamas, it lost their publicity. People don't trust Hamas no more. Hamas need donation. What do they do? They ask the young ones, the naive ones, go, hey, strike against the Jews and throw rocks and get it close to the border, huh? Get it close and carry knives with you. And they get it close. And then the soldiers just shoot them. And then the Hamas will collect hundreds of millions of donations coming from Indonesia. Guys, now all Islamic countries in the world collecting donation to Hamas, which means Hamas, by making those fool attack and storm the Israeli fence border, they are making money. You see, why we don't see between those who they killed any ones of the sons of the leaders of Hamas, why? Why the leaders of Hamas themselves do not go and put straight in the front and they die themselves? They will not do that. It's a business. Hamas is safe, you know, facing a big problem. It's not popular no more. People, they are sick of it and they found that this is a scumbag organization. All what they care about collecting donation and you know every leader of Hamas he have four wives and he have a big a huge villa when all the population around them they are living you know less than poor that is the truth in Turkey Israel is used to export the problem of Turkey out so I'm a Turkish my lira have no value so what I will do I will change the focus of my people about the stupidity of Erdogan and I will say look what we are doing with Israel we are going to fight Israel but no they never fight Israel the same as the Assad in Syria the Assad in Syria for more than 30 years we will fight the Israeli we will go in one day he never he never dared to fart at Israel so what is the purpose of this war with Israel this is this is a war of no war the purpose is I can be the thief who suck your blood forever and you cannot open your mouth because the second you ask me why we don't have electricity I say we are fighting Israel why we don't have jobs we are fighting Israel where is the budget of the country we are fighting Israel Israel is a reason to suck the blood of the population Israel is very useful for all the Arab Middle Eastern leaders for they are a scam and they use an Israel as a reason to suck the blood of their people the same as the Turkish Erdogan if Erdogan is real a, a president who is a really a real Muslim who want to defend the Muslims and he have an army he attack a foreign I mean, how come you are so brave to attack a village? It's called Afrin and kill the Muslim Kurdish. But you don't dare to do something with Israel. As long you believe Israel is doing aggression. As long you believe that Israel is doing massacre against the Jew, against the Palestinian, as you call them. Why you don't do something about it? He don't dare. So importing issues 
or problems is a very very well-known method but many naive people do not know it they think the news is speaking to you the truth the news is importing problems from in to abroad in America we import our problems and make it about Russia Russia now became all our problems the problem of Facebook is Russia <laughs> the problem of Twitter is Russia the problem that Russia is the every Russia is everything. That's it. You see, they are not even talking about Iran. They are not talking about Afghanistan. They are not talking about ISIS. It is Russia. Because ISIS is gone. So now we cannot spend the time trying to import our problem and make it about ISIS. We have to find another place to load our problems there. So now the Russian is wide open. Russian is an old enemy for the for the American. And the you know, the, the Democrat, they don't want us to be friends with the Russian. It's in purpose because if we are a friend with the Russian, who is going to be the enemy? We need an enemy. The Democrat, they cannot say they are an enemy to Islam, for they are paid by the Muslims. The Russian are not paying the Democrat, so those are the one we can go against them. If the Russian paid us. And bribe us, then we will not go against the Russian. The Prince of Qatar is one of the biggest finance billionaire of terrorism in the world. Neither the Democrat, neither the Republican dare to open their mouth. Even Trump, he spoke about the Prince of Qatar that he is sponsoring terrorism for 15 minutes in the front of the White House, and then after that, he forgot about it. Not only this, two weeks after he signed an agreement with the Prince of Qatar to sell them, I think, 18 or 21 airplanes. Just last week, you said they are sponsoring terrorism, and now you are selling them airplanes? Money. Everything is a flying in a box, and this box is the box of money. And the American, Australian, Canadian, European, you name it, Asian, I mean, all everybody, all of us, the citizen of this earth, we are copy-paste. We watch the news, we believe what the news says to us. We believe that the prime minister, after he left his job, he is in jail now. Why he is in jail? I mean, what happened? Why he was not in jail when he was a prime minister? Are you telling me when he was a prime minister, he was not doing the scam? He was. So nobody saw it. They saw him. So what happened? What happened is very simple. If you don't pay me, I will go after you. If you pay me, I am with you. And this is the method for everything. In Turkey right now, Erdogan, he want the Israeli to sponsor his economy. His collapsed economy is going to die if Israel did not sponsor this economy. So the Turkish Erdogan president, he hoped that the Jews will mute him with the money he need. And that will not happen. So he blackmailed the Jews and he blackmailed Israel, speaking about genocide, killing Palestinian, but he is killing, as we speak now, Kurdish every day, and they are raping their women, stealing their money, taking over their property, and nobody complained. And this is nothing to do only with the Muslims, by the way. This is something most of a scam back they practice around the world. As we saw with Billy Clinton, like even Trump now. Trump is suffering from many problems. And the Democrat, they are very smart. And he is being so stupid lately. He wanna, conv he wanna convince us now that he is not a friend to the Russians. So what he did, he fell into the trap of the Democrat. He start putting sanctions after sanctions after sanctions on the Russian. He fell in the trap. They made him do it just to make us believe those they are lying about me. I'm not a friend of the Russian. What's wrong with being a friend to the Russian? 
why we cannot be friends to the Russian how you want to put sanctions on Iran if you are not willing to be friend to the Russian because all your sanctions on Iran is useless unless you take the Russian in your side Sometimes you look around you and you feel like those who they are working in politics They are a bunch of donkeys and they have no idea what they are talking about What sanctions we will have on Iran? If every border around them is open Turkey they never respect any sanctions. This is a scam country Nobody in Turkey even by window Microsoft nobody buy a software all the software in the computers there is a theft so theft is a method of life there. It's a style of life. You want to put sanctions on Iran based on what? If you could not force the borders of Iran to be closed. Sometimes I feel like all of this is just for the sake of propaganda. It's useless, it's meanless, they don't mean it. The sanction can work in a big product like oil, as an example. But the Turkish, now they found that the sanctions of Trump is a priceless important. Why? Because now the Iranian, they will smuggle their oil through Turkey for a cheaper price. The same exactly what the Turkish was doing with ISIS. ISIS, they took over the oil of Syria and part of Iraq, and the buyer was the Turkish. Turkish, they don't honor any deal with anyone. Turkish have no friends. Turkish have no loyalty. Turkish have no religion. They say they are Muslims. They can say whatever they want, but those people, they have no religion. Their religion is only money. That is the truth. Always, you know, when we talk about uh, about politics, you will see how dirty this this world is. But more than the more important than about saying how dirty it is, is how foolish people are to believe that those liars are really leaders and they are who they claim to be. Erdogan and his son-in-law and his family are businessmen and they are they are earning millions and millions of dollars every second while Turkish population getting poor and poor and poor every second the Prince of Qatar the one who is supporting Al-Qaeda and ISIS he have the biggest space or let us say base for the American in the Middle East but yet this guy, if you watch his TV, the Jazeera TV, you will think that this is an Al-Qaeda TV. His TV is speaking literally that they hate the American and they sponsor the Mujahideen and they do all the propaganda for the Islamic fighters. But yet, which you cannot understand, they have the biggest base for America in Qatar paid in full by the Prince of Qatar, which means the American there, they don't pay money even for electricity for their base. You know what I mean? So in TV, they are anti-America. In reality, they are under the shoes of America. All of them are the same. The king of Jordan, who is supposedly claimed to be descendant from Muhammad, which explains why he is so much corrupt. 
the king of Jordan, he gave a speech is about Islam and Muslims. Mr. President Trump, we are 1.8 billion. Yeah, potato. Yesterday you went 0.6. The day before it was 1.4, and you are five inch tall. And what that will do? Right now, as we speak, all his country is protected by the American. All the salary of his soldiers is paid by the American and the Israeli. If not Israel and America, the King of Jordan will collapse in 24 hours. That is the truth. In TV, they present themselves the Islamic Mujahideen, the one who is descended from the Prophet. We are not like the same as the Kuffar. We are the best of mankind. And then we find them afternoon rubbing their tails and their face with the shoes of a Trump. The king of Saudi Arabia, he is so proud. We have the house of Allah. We are the one who is descended from the prophet. We are the one protected by God. And then the second day, we find them rubbing their face with the shoes of a Trump, asking for some weapon because Iran, it might invade us. Please, please, Trump. And then Trump, he invited them to the White House and he said to the crown prince, he spent here a 110 billion dollar but it's like a candy for you isn't it i mean look how look how trump is even disrespecting them we are the people of allah we are the people who have the kaaba we are the people we are the proud and then ivanka trump she went in the airport and the whole nation went crazy to the point Muslims, they start building mosque and they call it the mosque of Ivanka Trump. Do you believe it? Do you believe it? Do we have any Abdul? You see, we have a Abdul here in the text. He is posting things. What about guys we ask him to call us? What do you think? Shall we? Just to show you that Muslims are not brave. Let me open my Skype and let us see if a Muslim have the courage to call. They don't have the courage to attack Israel in real. They attack it in speeches, media, blah, blah, blah. Death to America, death to Israel. But even in Skype, it's the same. Here we go. My Skype is open. Call me if you're there. Call me if you're there. Any Muslim? No, I don't think he is a coward. I think he lost his teeth like Muhammad. In case you do not know, Muhammad, a man, he threw a rock at his face when he was hiding behind his soldiers. And almost the guy, he killed him by a rock. He broke all his teeth. And this is in the beginning of Islam. And I cannot imagine how Muhammad was able to recite the Quran and the Muslim understand the guy who have no teeth. Imagine you have no teeth. And the funny they are saying in their Islamic books that he, he, he destroyed it all. I mean, what kind of rock this rock is? Even the one who have all his teeth, we cannot understand him. But the sister, the the person, his name is the Christian prince. You can find him in the internet. That person is an Arab Christian, and he claimed that he knows the Quran. The first, in fact, he do not know the Quran. If we go to chapter thirteen, verse chapter thirteen, the Quran is said that the tender words of Allah. Uh, uh, brother, what? What chapter? What? Chapter. Uh, if they go to the Quran, chapter thirteen, verse thirteen. What? what? This is the guy who have a teeth. We have no idea what he's saying. What about the prophet who have no teeth? And the prophet who have no teeth, 
Did I say the prophet? Yeah, the prophet, not the prophet. The prophet who have no teeth. Suddenly he is the lion who can go around all his women and do bang, bang to them. Here you notice that Muhammad, how he import his problems. Instead of Muhammad explain how much he is a prophet of God, praying to God, he is proud about how many women he did F today. I mean, that is an amazing prophet. Look at this. If we go to this famous hadith, which every Muslim now knows because we are teaching them, the Prophet continued for such and such a period of time, imagining that he has sex with his wives, but in fact, he did not. So if we ask Zakir Naik to explain that to us, he will say what? Brother Sitar, there is a zoo. His name is Dubaid ibn Atham. Dubaid ibn Atham, he was a doeth from the relative of Netanyahu. If you look at the note of Netanyahu, you will notice that he looked the same as Dubaid ibn Atham, the one who did the black magic to the Prophet. This doeth man, he was able to take some hair from the earth of the Prophet. And he made a note of it and he was able to control the prophet from far away this is the first remote control in the world the first remote control in the world it was a hero from the ass of the prophet and the jewish guy was controlling him from far away and the prophet he started imagining himself having sex but in fact he did not so now we can say that erdogan is imagining himself freeing jerusalem but in fact, he did not. He did not even have sex with his wife. And this is how all the Muslims do. They imagine we destroy America. You are praying to America to be destroyed for centuries and nothing happened. Actually, the first war America had, it, it was with the Muslims. The first fight ever between America as a country and overseas after independence, it was with the Muslims, with the pirate of North Africa from Libya. That is the truth. And look like all Muslims, they are suffering from the same problem of their prophet. They imagine things, but in fact, they did not. They imagine they are going to have a good electricity in the Middle East, but in fact, they did not. Why? Because the whole nation depends in inshallah. The whole country run by one golden rule, inshallah. Inshallah mean Allah is willing. And Allah is dead. He never do anything. That explains why there is no jobs, there is no electricity, the street is dirty, the electricity the, 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 the water is not coming. I mean, nothing is working. Nothing is functioning in the country because the whole country based on inshallah. Why people they do have bars over their windows in Islamic countries? Because inshallah, we will have security tomorrow. Because the whole people around us are a bunch of thieves. If I, if I leave my window without bars, somebody will jump immediately in the same day. Do you see how much security we have? You see, where I'm coming from, which is the Middle East, as you know, I am an Arab person. I'm, I'm so proud, by the way, to be an Arab. Yeah. Actually, we as an Arab, we are the first one who made computers. True. And as example, just to show you why we have tons of reasons to be proud as Arab. Shakespeare is not an Englishman. His real name is Sheikh Isber. Yeah, Sheikh Isber. The word democracy, it is us who made us, made it. It used to be said, democracy, which means bring the chairs. See, I mean, if you if you look, uh, uh, let me ask you, what is the best food you eat? Salad. Here we go. Huh? Salata. See, 
it is coming from our language everything you have is coming from us we are so proud I never saw people are proud as where I'm coming from but proud about what I have no idea I don't know why they are so proud even women there they are so proud about what I don't know everybody is so proud and this is the situation all over Islamic countries everybody is so proud but about what nobody knows there is a guy his name is Dawa man I think I don't know if this is name correct I forgot he made a video speaking about uh, he live in England and he have a bunch of cows next to him and he have a Mercedes Benz behind him he own it and he have a phone in his hand and he was talking about the infidels the British people and the kuffar you know what is the benefit of those kuffar they are the same as animals you can go and watch the video but the idiot in his hand he have a phone made by the infidels his clothes is made by the infidels the car he is driving is made by the infidels so what is made by him what is the product for a person like this? What he produce every day? Shit. He shit like cows. Cows are more useful. They have milk. So he complained that the infidels are the one who produce nothing, but the fact he buy everything he have. In Saudi Arabia, before they have the oil, what was Saudi Arabia? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. This is why no England, no France, no Italy went to occupy it. Why? Because it's nothing. There's nothing. Mm, totally nothing. The oil came and then they became wealthy and now they are proud. But about what? And now the oil they have is not enough even to, to pay Trump. To keep them safe and secure from Iran. After 70 years of oil in Saudi Arabia, still more than 70% to 80% of the population do not know how to read, how to write. Do you know what is number one hobby Saudi people are proud about in Saudi Arabia? I don't know if you know what they do. I don't know what to, to translate that to you. It's called tafhit. Tafhit is somebody driving the car like you drive it in the side, make too much noise, uh, you know, like crazy stuff. It is number one reason for death in Saudi Arabia because the population have no education. People buy cars, but they don't have the manner of driving. If a woman walk in the street, they chase her or they rape her. This is, what, this is why the women in Saudi Arabia, she have to have a guardian. I mean, have you ever heard of a country? It is so secure to the point your sister cannot walk alone. Our country is so secure because we have a decent citizen to the point my wife, she cannot walk alone. And if she walk alone, she will be kidnapped and raped. Is that because they have a decency or because there is an illness in the society? Why a woman in America, she do not need the protection to go to the mall? Why in Saudi Arabia, if she do that, she is at risk? Is that a problem in the society or it is a problem in the religion or it's a problem in the mentality? Yet they claim that we Muslims are decent people and we protect our women. Obviously, you don't. You rape them. Otherwise, why a woman, she need a, a guardian in the street? Women need a guardian if she is insecure. In your Islamic countries, women are insecure. That because you have a lack of ethic. That because Islam made you look at the women in a very ugly, disgusting way. If Islam made out of you a good citizen, a good human, then you will not need a guardian for your sister to walk in the street because everybody will be her guardian. Correct, guys? 
if I am walking right now in the street and there is somebody trying to rape a woman, do you think I'm going to watch? Do you think really I'm going to watch and I say none of my business? Absolutely not. I will do whatever in my hand to stop this filthy idiot and arrest him. I will not even let him go. One of the proof that Islam could not make Islamic countries good society is the lack of respect to women and the lack of security to women and the lack of security to property in Islamic countries. In Saudi Arabia, they practice hand cutting off if you steal something more than an egg, but still they have a huge number of thieves. So what they will happen if they have no cut off for the hands? Look like Islamic Sharia law failing again. They have a stoning to death for adultery, but Saudi Arabia is number one country in the world of adultery. There is limousines are exist and created. Imagine guys, limousine company. They don't do limousine job. They do the prostitution. You call the limousine. The limousine come with the prostitute and the prostitution is offered for male and female and mostly they bring those prostitutes human trafficking from al bosnia muslim from al bosnia they bring a muslim guy or a muslim girl from al bosnia poor people they bring them to saudi arabia they make them work in the prostitution business a saudi woman she is horny she have no husband she want to have sex what she do she called the limousine company the limousine stop in, your, in front of your house. You jump in the back seat. There is a blonde guy with the blue eyes is naked waiting for you. And he have a puppy on in his neck. You want a blonde girl. You call the limousine. The limousine stop in the front of your house. You have sex in the limousine, not in the hotel, because in the hotel it's risky. People, they will see you getting in and getting out with the girl. By the way, guys, uh, I need to take a limousine, but I'm not sure what company I need to call. Let me check. Bismillah al Rahman al Rahim company. No, this one is very dirty, obviously. Starting with Bismillah al Rahman. This is mean, it's very dirty. It is look for something better. Allahu Akbar company. Ah, this is very, this is, I think, homo. Let me look for this one. Uh, Masha Allah, Masha Allah. I think those are like so so. Maybe they will send me a belly dancing. I will call Masha Allah Limousine Company. <laughs> nobody, nobody have an idea what Islam is about until you live between Muslims in their land. You see, Muslims in America are not the same as Muslims in the Middle East. Because they act differently. Muslims in, in the West, they try to present themselves as like, a, like, it, like, like, a, like a, when a priest he comes to your house, he try to present himself as the respected person. You know, this is how they try. He is the good guy, and you know, but the the truth is totally the opposite. I never saw a corrupt society as much as Islamic society. Right now, as we speak, we have the month of Ramadan started in Islamic countries. When I was a kid, I have Muslims, kids in my classroom. So sometimes, you know, we are kids. He go to my house, I go to his house. We go to his house in the month of Ramadan, we drink tea, we eat cookies. We are kids. And then we are leaving. He said, what, wait, wait, said, what? He said, wait. He went to the kitchen. And he grabbed some salt and he put it in his hand and he started tapping the, the salt over his mouth, over his lips. And I was talking to him, but he didn't want to talk because the, the salt will, will fill down. You know, don't talk. After he finished doing that, I said, what, are, what, what is that? He said, this is what all my family do. I said, what, what do you mean? He said, in Ramadan, when we eat, before we go out, we put salt in our mouth and the lips will go dry and nobody will know that we are eating. He's a kid. He don't know what he's talking about. You know, he just he just explored the secret of the family, the business of the family. All of them they do that. His father, his mother, his brothers, his sisters, everybody do that. So inside the house, we drink tea, we eat cookies. We are kids. 
I don't know if his father drinking beer or not. When we will go out, he put salt over his lips so nobody will see that he is not fasting. How a kid learn this? He's a kid. I mean, he's an innocent kid. Both of us, we are children. He learned from his family. He said to me, all my family do that. And my cousins. Yeah, and everybody. I said, really? I said, yeah. <laughs> and he's right. Try it. Put some salt over your mouth, over your lips, and you will see they will look dry. Once I enter a guy house, you know, I was a kid too, and he have a little rock in his hand, little little rock, and he is hitting the you know the top of his forehead. Let me see if I can show you what I'm talking about. Hold on. Anyway, this guy he is hitting his head. So I told my friend, "Is your dad okay? Why is doing that?" He said, "I will tell you later." I said, okay. And then I asked him again, so why your dad is doing that? I could not understand why a person hitting his head, like he's not hitting hard. He's like, you know, like keep knocking. Uh, he told me he is trying to make a dark spot in his forehead. I said, why? He said, because people who pray a lot, they have it. Ooh, uh-huh. So he is trying to make a dark spot in his forehead. So when he go out in the street, people will think that he is a good believer who pray all day long. If you look with me here, I just look in the internet just to show you. You will find that all those terrorists who sponsor terrorism, they have a dark spot in their forehead. I don't know if it's clear for you. Is it? Do you see the dark spot? Do you see this guy? Look. Do you see that? This is what they do. They knock their head with a little rock when they are sitting home. And that will make people believe that those people, they spend the whole day and the night praying to Allah. Look at this guy. You can tell he is knocking his head with little rock too. Do you see it? Look how ugly it is. Look how ugly, disgusting it is. It's like you have a big pimple. Sick. Disgusting. And then since then, since I was a child, I learned how the Muslims, they got that spot in their face. They cannot fool me no more about themselves being believers. All of them, they knock their head with little rock in the forehead to make themselves, they are people who pray a lot. So what if you pray a lot? Why you will have this? Why you will have this? Hypocrites. Hypocrites, this is a nation of hypocrisy. Hypocrisy is a is a style of life. Actually, it is satanic. I don't know if you feel it with me. I mean, look at this look. What is good about it? It feels satanic. What is that in your face? This is ugly. Why somebody pray to God, he will have this in his head. All the leaders of Hamas, they have this. Look. <laughs> oh, really? And the question, how come girls don't have it? Why Muslim men have it, Muslim girls don't have it? Any Abdul can tell me why those things appear only in the face. Look at this guy, guys. Look, I mean, look, he is not he is not speaking for the devil, the face of an angel in his face with that spot in his head. You can tell he's like he have a face of an angel.
Very beautiful. The goo. Huh? This is Al Zawahiri. Did you did you ask yourself why Al Zawahiri he have it too? Al Zawahiri, you know Al Zawahiri, the one who is now in charge of Al Qaeda, he's hiding like a rat. Guys, if any of you can find me a good rock, send it to me because I want to take some pictures and post it in Facebook to show you that Christian Prince is a good believer. <laughs> But please send me a nice rock, huh? Don't send me like something cheap. Don't send me something made in China. Hmm? Thank you, Ryan. Thank you. God bless you. I apologize, guys, for those who say hello, hi to me, etc. I did not notice because you know I'm I, I, I go with my topic. Uh, sometimes I see your comment. I'm not ignoring it, but you know, I have I cannot just stop and just say hello, how are you? So thank you for everybody. God bless you. And the one who is going for sleep. Go for a sleep and don't forget to, to dream about those beautiful faces we just showed you, especially this guy. I mean, take an image for you at, to, to bed. At least you go from here with nothing. I mean, print it, print and print, print such a face and put it next to you. This is a this is a face of a believer, a merciful face. The, the face of mercy, like I mean, mercy is mercy, mercy is dripping. Look, look at this. Imagine he is taking a picture inside the mosque and doing this. What he will do, how he will look like if I say to him, I'm a Christian prince. Oh boy, he will have, uh... but we have to be honest. Look at this guy here. You notice. That the caliphate of the ISIS, he don't have that spot. The fact he have it, but it is up in his forehead. He is wearing this thing, but you don't see it. Unbelievable. Do we have any Abdul? Why we don't see those things in the face of those who they claim they converted to Islam? As an example from the Dean show. Why only we see the dark spot in a Middle Eastern, you know, society? Because the scam is there. Those who convert to Islam in the West, most of them, they are, you know, they are just a foolish people who converted. They are, they are more decent, you know. They don't, they don't have, they don't know about this scam. They did not learn it yet. And the funny, when they color their beard red, let me show you. I'm trying to find something. <clears throat> Look with me. Did you ask yourself why the Muslims, someone who have like, he is not white, why he have a red beard? Did you ask yourself why in the world somebody he is not even white? Why he have a red beard? Look at this guy. <laughs> My friend, because the prophet peace upon him, he was the first to do that. The prophet, he ordered his followers to color their beard like as you see. Muhammad, he wanted to be a part of the KKK.
actually I'm thinking to do to make my beard like this what do you think what he is using for this any any of the ladies knows what we how we can make the color like this imagine man this beard is like a fire in bushes and fire it is henna i don't think it's henna henna will not make it this way this guy is adding something with it I don't think henna will do this. Henna is, uh, you know, I know what henna is. This is too much uh, red. It is henna. Okay, I will take the I I will take the opinion for of the women because women they knew better. I don't know. Look at this guy. Oh boy, so handsome. And look at the kids behind him. Those are Mujahideen. You see the Mujahideen? They are carrying the flag of Allah. Do you see the Mujahid behind him here? Do you see the Mujahid? This Mujahid. Let me show you this Mujahid. This Mujahid behind carrying the flag of Allah is like three foot tall. But yet he is a Mujahid. And look at this beard, man. In the faces, you will notice love, mercy, wisdom, passionate, all those things, which you cannot find in any other religion. Look how beautiful, look. I bet you his wife, she feel that he is so sexy. I, I I have no doubt about it. Eesh, very. Oh, look at this guy. Look at this guy. This guy now in the Kaaba. I mean, his beard is in fire. His beard is in fire, literally. Oh, look at this guy. This guy from Hamas. This guy from Hamas. His hair is black. His beard is red. It's a miracle. Alhamdulillah. It is really, really a miracle. Only in the Middle East, we grow our beard black, it turns red. It is henna. I don't know if henna can make it that, uh, that, that much red. I think they add something with it. I think they add something. Uh, because the prophet of Islam, he asked him to trim the mustache, some they shave it totally, uh, and to grow the beard. This is why it's look even more ugly. Okay, let us change those pictures and put put something nicer. Because I'm me myself, I'm getting worried about my eyes. I better I better look for different uh, kind of images. My eyes hurt. Oh boy. Let us put pictures will make Muslims come to our chat. Let us see. Which one? Which one? Which one? No, those too much. If I show those, not only Muslims will come, all the ones who they are. Uh, uh, Where, where, where? 
I cannot see. Hmm. Let me see here. Yeah, yeah, this is better. This is better. I was going to put pictures of uh, of women, but I think this is better. You know, the Muslims they they spend a lot of money building uh, like uh, uh, mosques, like especially in India. They try to present mosque in a very beautiful shape and design and etc. But what is the benefit of this house? Does this house make the society a better society? Go and check yourself in all Islamic society and see how this society is flipped upside down. They have a they have a mosque in every corner. For sure, not all the mosques they are good looking. Most of the mosques are really they look disgusting. Even the smell of the piss goes all the way out of the door. Because, by the way, most of the mosque in the Middle East is used as a bathroom. Uh, as an example, in the, in the Middle East, if you are going as a tourist, and I don't advise you, and you need to go somewhere, you know, you need to go to the bathroom. It, the most popular place you, are, you can go to the bathroom in is the mosque. And I'm not insulting, by the way, this is how it is. All Muslims in the Middle East who they have a business in that area you are in a public area where do you go there's no public bathroom where do you go you go to the mosque uh, and that explain why the smell is so bad you know because they don't uh, you know thousands of people get inside that bathroom especially especially if the mosque is in a central location where a lot of the people go by so it became a major bathroom Any Abdul? See, I made my tea, but now my tea is in my is is uh, is, uh, is cold. Uh, all right. Do we have any Muslim on a call? I needed some water. My my throat is getting dry because we talk about all good things, a lot of good things. Any Muslim? Who is a Muslim want to call us and share with us something good about Islam? I want to hear something good for a break. Anyone? Anyone would like guys don't forget to subscribe to our channel, please And if you are already a person who subscribed don't forget to unsubscribe because if you unsubscribe and subscribe Allah will give you double reward That's what the Prophet said Genius Try it His name is Pat man and he is a Muslim mm. <clears throat> Any Abdul? Uh, somebody is asking about my book. By the way, my my book, the German book, is already in Amazon.com. The new German book, uh, it's already in Amazon.com, and it is it is in Amazon.de, but it is not available there to purchase. However, you can purchase it from Amazon.com. You can do that. All right. If you are interested, this is this is my uh, this is my book for those who speak German. This is the title of my book. If you like to have it, and this one exposes all what they call it, the miracles of the Quran. And uh, it's it's a very funny book actually, full of comedy. 
and the, but the comedy the good thing about it the comedy is the comedy of Islam everything is sponsored by a joke from Muslims and Muhammad everything all right now somebody asked me about uh, six and Allah it's not published yet the book is not published yet I will let you know when it is ready to be published Any Muslim? Do we have any Muslim here? Is CP an ex Muslim? No, I never been a Muslim except when I was a child, according to, to Muhammad. Muhammad said that everyone is born as a Muslim. And as I mom, my mom told me. Look like this is was true because my mom she told me when I was a very very young I used to do poo poo in my diaper which is a clear sign that I was a Muslim at that time but I don't recall really I don't remember myself being a Muslim not even for a second except what my mom said to me when I was a baby and this is the only proof I have that I was a Muslim at that time doing poo poo in my diaper I mean, how full you are to the point you do poo poo, you man. I mean, in, in your diaper, obviously, you were a Muslim at that time. There's no question about that. This is a proven even by science. How in the world I will be a Muslim for a second? Do you think I'm an idiot to believe that my penis will be endless? I mean, how a human being have little brain can believe somebody saying to him, Allah will make your penis endless? I mean, is that a reward or a penalty? Imagine you are living in in California, but yet your penis in Ching Chong Hong Chong China, and the police they give you a ticket because your penis is blocking the trainway. What kind of God and what kind of heaven and what kind of a brain those people have? You want me to believe in a heaven, and in this heaven there is women I can see through. Is that a reward? I mean, this is disgusting. A woman I can see through. Imagine you have a beautiful woman in front of you. She is so beautiful to the point you see through. Hey, honey, where are you? I'm here, honey. Uh, well, I, I don't see you. Oh, you forgot the prophet. He promised you you will see through. Uh, uh, what? You forgot the prophet. He promised you you will see through. What the heck? She is so beautiful to the point I will see through. So what I will see? I mean, what kind of madness this madness is? Oh, maybe, maybe. Hold on, hold on. I got an idea. I think I got it finally. See, sometimes ideas they come to your head like 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 light. Mm -hmm. I, like I have a thunder right now in my in front of my light, my eyes. Let me show you. <clears throat> oh, mm. Imagine yourself. In the heaven of Allah just imagine and you have such a beautiful girl in the front of you brother so beautiful she is wearing high heels she is so sexy and she is reclining in her side as the Quran described them. I'm not going to describe more things I see in front of me because it is really, really so sexy. A woman which you can see through the marrows of her bones. How beautiful. 
especially when she changed her position. Oh boy. Oh mommy. Oh mommy, mommy blue. Oh mommy blue. Oh mommy, oh mommy, oh mommy, mommy blue. Look at this man. Who can resist such a beauty? If you have a doubt that Allah is God, you better rethink again. Look at this beauty. Look at this temptation. Guys, sorry, I have to go because this is too much. I cannot handle it. I am single. I cannot look for long. I mean, please burden me. This is really, really too much. If you cannot believe that Allah is God, then believe his promises. Look at his promises. A woman you can see through. Look at this. What's wrong with you? Who of you can come with such an idea that he will give us, by the way, a Muslim, a Muslim, he was saying, this is not a true. Hold on. This guy, he just insulted me. He's saying this is not true. And he's insulting the prophet. I have defended the honor of the prophet. Let's find the hadith. <sighs> Abdul, do you see it? Do you see it? It says that he will have wives who they are transparent. Do you see it or not? The Huris, the Huris, the wives, the Huris, they are what? They are transparent. And you will see the marrow of their bones, my friend. So what do you mean this is not a true? This is very true. And the prophet don't lie. And the dream of every Arabian boy is to have transparent wife. Don't you hear them in TV and radio? We want a transparent government. Here we go. Allah, he heard our cry. Allah will not only give us a transparent government because women are the government at the end of the day. Who's controlled? Who's in control? Come on. You get married, you start washing dishes. You know, she's the government. So now Allah decide to give you a transparent government. I mean, this is amazing. Allah knows best. Your dream come to be true finally. What do you want more? What do you want more? Huh? Transparent government is between your hand. This is your government. And this government, sometimes they change their location, by the way, or let us say their position in politics. As an example, this is a different position from the previous one. Oh, boy. I mean, do you see this position? This is a very wah-wah position. Oof. I mean, what's wrong with those positions? All those positions, positions? So Allah will give you a government which is going to change her position sometime in her right side, sometime in her left side, sometime in, you know, you name it. I mean, all positions. Look at this position here. Look at this one. If, if, if. I cannot imagine myself living in heaven does not have such a thing. I cannot, sorry. This God must be the true God we are looking for. Transparent government for every citizen. Did you notice that? Did, did you know? Did you notice that the, the high heel shoes? I mean, this guy who took pictures for this woman obviously is crazy. A woman in high heels, X ray. And what is driving me crazy is the beauty of her face. Let me zoom in. Oof, how beautiful. Oof. Oh boy. 
who in the world can ignore such a beauty Allah he promised me in heaven any Muslim can explain to me how your God promised us women we can see through explain explain what does that mean is that the beauty for you Muslims and the funny Muhammad he said the black eyed I mean the, if I can see through what the black eyed you idiot what do you mean black eyed if you just told me I can see through and they are transparent I know women they cannot hide money they cannot hide anything Alama, you are uh, you are feeling jealous. Here we go. Look what we did to us. Look what we did now to a Christian lady. Now she feels jealous and she might commit suicide. Why? Because she cannot. We, her husband, he cannot see through her. Take it easy, sister. Go right now and read the Quran upside down. Start from the chapter of the chair and put the chair upside down as the Muslims they do, so they can fight the genie. Because when you flip the chapter of the chair and you flip the chair. The genie is supposed to fell down in his ass, and because his ass is see-through too, you can see through and you see what the secret. Do we have any Muslim here want to tell you or give us a call or something? Actually, I'm thinking to start a dating website for transparent women. I mean, why in the world I'm zooming in this? I noticed that the number of people in my chat is is is, is decreasing. Look like people are getting scared. Imagine somebody he was asleep for last two hours and suddenly he opened his eyes and he see bones in the front of him in the screen. Let me change this picture, man. Oh boy. Let us switch to something real. Another question, as long we are talking about the beautiful women and women in heaven of Allah, who they are transparent. The idea of those transparent, by the way, it's because they are supposedly very white. Why Allah did not promise us in the heaven black women? What is the problem if Allah, he promised me a black woman? Why she have to be white? Any Muslim can tell us? What is wrong with the black woman? She is not a qualified to be in the heaven of Allah? Or because your God Allah is an Arabian God who like white people only and he is a racist, so he promised you only white women. Why I cannot have a black woman? What if I love to have a black wife? What's wrong with the black wife? Even the promises of heaven in the heaven of Islam is racist and disgusting. Everybody in the heaven of Allah is white. The believers, the boys who will serve the believers, who they will sleep with them, the women, the huri, the women who will go from the earth to heaven, everybody will turn white there. Why? Any Muslim can answer? What about if I want to have an Asian girl? I mean, okay, people, they have different tastes. What if I am a person who like to have an Asian wife? What's wrong with Asian women? There's a problem. Hmm? What is the problem with this God who don't like black, he don't like Asian, he don't like Indian? I mean, what's wrong? Only white people are welcome. Why? Asian people are beautiful too. Black people, they are beautiful too. God, he put his beauty in every nation. What the problem? 
and why it's important to mention their color you see a god who don't mention color obviously color is not important for him the god who mentioned the color obviously the color is very important for him any muslim CP like his women, like he like his coffee. Yeah, t t t well, I don't know how to read your name. I mean, why you guys you make your name so long? Tippy be beer. Tippy be beer. Shouldn't I have first coffee to have a... I don't have a woman, I don't have a coffee. I'm not drinking coffee because it's hurting my throat. Secondly, I'm single. So what do you mean I like my coffee the same I like my woman? I mean, what's wrong with you? Go and find me a coffee and then find me a woman and then you can say that. Poor me. Every Muslim will have 72 and I don't even have one. Just one. Not even transparent. <laughs> ah, hold on. I think the woman I have, she is a transparent. She's right now in my house. Allah sent, it, sent, her, sent one to me, but I think because she is transparent, I cannot see her. Mm, maybe and look at the Muslims not even one Muslim have a comment do you notice know any Muslim have a comment we want to know seriously why Allah promised us only white women to the point they are so white to the point they are transparent why it's so important for this God that those women are so so extremely wide to the point we can see through their body why any abdul anyone anyone any two? Hello? Hello? It's me you're looking for. Ah, look, somebody is giving me advice. Bibin 07, he said, CB, being single is so good. Hold on, hold on. Let us focus in the in the in the in the in what people say. Let us let us take a break from Allah and his stupidity. <laughs> take a take a break. Take a break. We we will change we will change our topic now to talk about different topic. This is what Bibin said. CB, being single is good. I am also single. Okay, girls in the chat, take a note. Bibin is single. Okay, we got it. And I can put my whole focus on my career and my job. And I am not losing my focus on some women. It is the best thing. Mm. You got meal, my friend. I don't think I don't agree with you that the reason you are not speaking about women because you are focusing in the career. I think you are a poor guy like me. Nobody want to marry you. <laughs> just face it. Just face it. Come on, just face it. Me and you have the same situation. Each time we ask a woman to marry us, she say, "What? There's no men left in this earth? Are you crazy?" So come on, be humble. Just say the truth. It's okay. They understand. They understand. <laughs> but anyway, you can, you know, what about me and you? We make a plastic surgery, like all those scam in Hollywood. And we come back, we will look good. We will look like Ahmadinejad. You know, I will take a picture of Ahmadinejad. And we will ask the doctor, let, let me show you how Ahmadinejad look like. So you get an idea how you and me will look like. We will look like a twin, me and us, and me and you. What is Ahmadinejad? Hold on. Let me show you Ahmadinejad.
Yeah, like this. Okay, let me show you how Ahmadinejad. So we can go and, you know, I, I'm sure people, they will help us with the cost. All right. So me and you, we can go to Iran and we speak to the best, you know, doctor in Iran. And we ask him, please, please, can you make us look like Ahmadinejad? And my friend, after you do the surgery and you change your name, but because we would not just make a surgery, we have there's a, there's more things to do. We change this this the, the the face, the look, and we change the name. So you, I will be Ahmed Najad one because this is my idea, and you will be Ahmed Najad two, and then come back here and you will see what will happen. Women, they will be fighting over you. Ahmed Najad, he have three wives. In case you do not know, you believe it? Three wives. And what is the reason he have three wives? You tell me. It is his smile. It is his beautiful smile. Not because he is a thief, he stole a lot of money when he was a president. No. Do we have any Abdul here? Anyone? Don't talk about his eyebrows, please. I mean, come on. This is made by the best doctor in Iran. It's a miracle. His eyebrows is a reason, actually, to believe in Allah. Mira, you are single? Guys, we have a Mira single, too. Mira, why you are single? You are a girl, right? Let me think. Okay, hold on. Let me ask Jibril to give me an inspiration to find why you are single. <laughs> hey, Cole, how are you? Do we have any Muslim here? You see, we are taking a break from the topic about Islam, hoping that we will get some Abdul here. And then now we got nothing. Not even a single Muslim want to call us. I don't know why. Anyone? So we go back to our question then. I insist really that Muslims, one of the Muslims he should call us and tell us what is the real reason that Allah, he promised Muslims in heaven, white women only. And they are so white to the point you can see through. Why Allah never promised Asian women, black women, Indian women? Why she have to be white and so white? If there is a reason. Any Muslim? Anyone? Hello? Can you lose your women in Jannah? No. The Quran said that those women in the Jannah is jailed in their tent. If you go in the Quran, my friend, you will see the Quran saying the following. Maqsuratun fil khiyam. Those women in the heaven they will not look at any other man for a very simple reason. They cannot look. They are jailed. Muhammad, he is aware of this problem because his wife, she was a cheeky on him, at least one of them. And there is a verse about that in the Quran. So Muhammad, he decided to design his heaven in a secure way so the men they will not be worried about such an issue so the women in the heaven of Allah they will be jailed and they will not be able to see any other man and not only that each time the women she sleep with the man in his in her jail she will say to him you are the best in bing 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 honey you are the best you are Abdul, wait, Abdul, wait. 
how the wife she is saying you are the best of those women they never have sex with anyone else except you how she knew that you are the best hmm what kind of God he says that those women are virgin take a note she is a virgin she never slept with any man and she would never sleep with any man and she would never see any man except you and then she said to you you are the best in bang bang that is so smart so smart any Muslim can explain to us so as you see the Quran claim that those Muslims women they will be jailed for sex This guy left satanic hands signal show it in the screen. I don't know what do you mean my friend You know those guys who they are saying that they find my channel This is the easiest way to find my channel you see and if you look in the screen if you look at the screen There's battery and there's minds.com So let us say this channel for some reason disappear how you know how to find Christian Prince? You go to these channels. You go to batteryon.com slash Christian Prince or minds.com slash Christian Prince. You can click at the last video I posted there and that will take you to my present channel. As simple as that. All right? Very simple. Does not mean white whore women. No, whore mean white, my friend. Whore, you see. The word whore, in fact, have nothing to do with the black eye, as Muslims translate. Let me explain to you. Whore. Is a word is not even an Arabic word. It's used for women who don't go and work outside, and that make them so white because they never been exposed to the sun. In other way, those are spoiled women. In the old days, women who they are from a poor family, they have to go out and support their family. So they will be exposed to the sun their hands, their arms, their feet, because simply they have to work hard. The whore is the one who is spoiled, who don't get out. And this is not even an Arabic word. It's coming from Persia. So the whore, in the, in the Persian religion, there is, a, there is a spiritual woman, or let's say uh, virtual woman, virtual women who they will be waiting for you in heaven and those are whore they are so white and so beautiful and muhammad i believe he told he, he stole this idea from salman al-farisi which was one of the teachers of muhammad about the the belief of the, the persian so those women because they are not exposed to the sun they are so white and they are supposedly a symbolic of the spoiled women so Muhammad, he promised them that those women, they will be jailed in their rooms. And that explains why the verse in the Quran is saying that. If you read with me here, the verse, let us go back. You will see that those women are guarded. They are guarded inside their tents. What guarded mean? It means they never saw the sun. They are contained inside the bedroom. Their life is a bedroom life. They never saw the sun. They never went in the sun. They, they never even seen anything to do with the daytime. They are women for the bed. So they are guarded in their bedrooms. And that explains why they are so white and even you can see through their bones. And because they are guarded and nobody ever saw them, no man nor genie had intercourse with her. You see here that the translation is false. 
they say to you here 70, verse number 74 that there's no man there's no genie did have sex with them the fact it doesn't say that it doesn't say that uh, if you go here as an example uh, Let us go 55 oh, probably in Arabic. Oh, the search engine is really weird. Look, I type the verse, it, it come in bringing me all everything. What is that? What the? Okay, let us do something else. <clears throat> For faster finding. Oh, we have a caller. Let us see who's calling. Hello? Hi. Uh, yeah, I was... Uh, did you hear me? Yes, I do. Go ahead. Yeah, okay. I was just listening to, to you guys. Uh, <laughs> actually, um, so I, I can't say I'm an Abdu because I guess I am an ex-Abdu, but I am Persian and I speak Persian. I'm from Afghanistan. Uh, lived in Iran and we are the same people with Iran. Uh, anyway, uh, I wanted to talk, like, I wanted to say something about when he said that uh, God or Allah, uh, piss or shit be upon him, whatever. Uh, when he was talking that he's actually asking, oh, that promising white woman. That's, I think that is dishonest. I think that is, uh, I, I don't think that people should relate, like, even him should relate, should use lies to actually um, who is the, know, who is the one who's in lies? Like CP. I am CP. Okay, so uh, that when you said that, okay, so when you said, I thought someone else was managing this. <clears throat> when you said that uh, the whore it means uh, transparent. No, it does not mean transparent. Uh, so what does it mean? So what does it mean? It, it's it actually comes from the uh, Zoroastrian is Zoroastrian religion. Uh -huh. the, um, uh -huh. That they use the they are priests or their uh, kashish. Um, they did not like uh, Catholic priests. They did not engage in sexual activity. They were promised something that did not exist at the time. Uh, so they were promised who in afterlife. Okay, and but those who what is, is their color? What is their color? There is no explanation of what their color is. It's old Persian that says. It's a woman so beautiful that does not exist in this okay, life. But, so but you see, when you, when, you, okay, when you accuse me that I am telling a lie, that means you are accusing your prophet that he is I, telling a lie. He's not my prophet. Okay, but hold I on, hold on. on his grave. Yeah, no problem. But but as you see, Muhammad is the one saying they are transparent, right? No, but you, you see, you use the translation. He did not say that he was. they were transparent. He said, who reigned, right? No, he, he said that. No, no, he said that. Let me show you. Let me show you. Okay. Maybe you are not reading carefully. He said that you will see through their bones. Read with me carefully. All right. The yeah, women. Uh, actually, let me make the let me get this live yeah. because uh, I can't see. All right, give me one sec. Hmm. Okay, sure. Yeah. Um, now we can. So they who the women, they yeah. are, is going to have hories who you will see the marrows of their bones. Yeah, so you see, they are the, the person who added who will be so be, what's inside the parenthesis. Yeah, that is no not problem, exact but he's explaining what, what it's mean. No, no, because it is, because is a, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How I can see how I can send uh, how I can see the moral of the bones of somebody. No, so here's the problem I have. First of all, white people are not transparent. To say that, okay, black people, Asian, Middle Easterns are transparent, transparent would be wrong because they are 
neither them nor white people are transparent. No, let, hey, let me tell you what. Let me tell you what, Mohammed. Mohammed did not Hold. interact with white people. No, 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 no. He interacted. He, he have a. He, okay, you know, even if he did. No, no, Syria, my friend. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The Jewish people who the Muhammad he have, they are white. They are white people. <laughs> yeah, they are white. They are very white actually. And and uh, Muhammad when he, he said about the transparent. He was exaggerating yeah. in his lies for the more white you are the more you can see through as an example I can see through my skin the nerves or the vein of my blood is that correct if I am white uh, so can Asians I am so can Persians no so can the Arabs. more no, no the more white you are no no that's not true in the more that white you true. are the more white you are you can see even the blue color inside your uh, uh, and inside your blood it looked like blue but it's not a blue for if sure. But this is. The, the uh, and listen, listen, listen. You are you are arguing. You are arguing for no reason. Okay. Because when he say you can see the moral of their bones, what does that mean? When he says he can see the moral of the what the marrow, the marrow, the marrow, the marrow of Where their does bones. It, say that? it says that in the front of you in the hadith. Is that a hadith or is that? I thought you were translating. This is the Quran. hadith and the Quran confirmed that because the hur, you know. You see, you see, yeah. you, you are talking you about the ho listen, 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 listen. The hoor, the hoor, even if you go in the Zeradash, you will see that those hoor, those women, still they are a kind of a creature who so they are very spoiled and they are virtual uh, creature who they yeah, are still drawing that. in all images. If you go and see the Zeradash, you, you, you said you speak uh, Persian, right? Yes, I speak they, they have They have pictures of the women, is that correct? Artists they draw pictures for yes, them. Yes, because they have okay. The are they okay? The are they in the pictures? The are they in the pictures? Very white. Yes or no? Pictures of which which time? Of the whore, which made by no. the. It is. Yeah, it okay. is. It is. My friend, they are white. They have black eyes. They have big eyes, and they are so beautiful, and they are wearing sexy clothes. They like some of. I mean, at times they do look like Japanese manga. No, or no, no, no. It doesn't matter. Uh, no, it doesn't look. I, mean, I I saw their pictures, and actually. Uh, uh, I cannot I cannot recall the uh, the the book, but there's a there, there's a Zerdish book I, I did read before, is speaking about the color of those women who they are white, so they are very white and they, they are very beautiful and they are described as as Muhammad he described them and this is where Muhammad is getting his story from, when Muhammad yes. he speak about uh -huh. women who they are whore, and you are the one who said you speak the language Persian. of the Persian. And you okay? So what is the what is the meaning of whore? Can you give me please? The, I told you that the, there is no. It is a woman that's so beautiful that does not exist in this life. It was a. a it doesn't matter woman. what is what it's mean. What it's mean? What the word whore it mean? means? It means the most beautiful woman that does not exist in this life. It's okay. A and okay, hold on. So those who are, are the most beautiful women are not exist in this life. The Zerdesh, yes. do, do they consider in their tradition? Black people are the most tradition beautiful no, people. No, the Zerdashis were very racist against okay. blacks. They so, also had so blacks okay, blacks. thank you. So now the most beautiful women in a racist society is going to be white anyway. No, but Zerdashis were not white. They were Persian. Persian they, are white. They actually came. Persian. From, Persian are white. What are you talking about? I'm not. Why are you telling me that I'm the same as like um, people from Sweden? That Germany? you don't have to be the same as people of Sweden to be white. Even people in Morocco, they are considered as white. People in Algeria are considered as white. People in Libya, and this is Africa, look like you do not know what white mean. White does not mean does not mean that you are a person who have a blonde hair. That is not what white mean. You you are mixing things up. So you just said the most okay, so beautiful just, women. Who is just, the most beautiful women in the culture of the Persian? What is the most the beautiful Persian women in the culture of the Persian? Is the white women? Okay, so I guess I was confused because I thought that you would consider like white and then brown. That would be us and mm. Arabs and um, other people, and then Indian and. Uh, Asian, like Asian, Indian are black. not white. Indian are not white. White, we know what white mean. Me, myself, as no, an Arab, if I want to fill up an application in USA for a job, I have to put my name and they're white. I cannot call myself a black. I cannot call myself African. I cannot call myself Asian, even though the country I'm coming from is from Asia because the Middle East, the Arabian wow. countries, most of it is yeah. in Asia, but yet I cannot say Asian. So, you, okay. I am considered as a white, yet. I did not say I am a person who have a blonde hair like the Swedish people who have a blue eyes, etc. But still, you are considered as white. 
same as the Turkish when they register themselves they they are considered the same as white so you are the one is mixing things up now as long uh, Muhammad I conceded that, that listen, I agree because listen, okay. I, when I when you said Asian I was thinking of all of Asia and that's why I said that how, when, when I say Asian, Asian when I say when I say South, Asian I mean know? people who look Asian people who don't look white as simple as that Asian they have different look their eyes is different their nose is different uh, they have different look it's not a secret so here we have Muhammad describing the whore and the Quran describing the whore as women who they are jailed in their tents why they are jailed in the tent simply for two reasons to keep them white and to keep them away from the eyes of strange men and this is why the Quran says that those women no man had sex with them as you see here with me in chapter 55 yeah. verse number 74 it says even no man did the break their virginity skin you see it um let me see okay yeah yeah i i i, I saw that yeah so the so, other point that i wanted to say is like the, the, when you use the translation inside the parentheses that actually the reason i have had the issue with that is because that makes quran look a lot a lot smarter and a lot lot more better than it actually is because when you read uh when, when you read the uh ashabic kahf the surah of kahf hmm. when it says that uh the the met the king with the two horn it says oh when you look inside the parentheses he says that he went so far that he re and then francis you assume that he reached the place where the sun sets even though if you read the phrase above it it says that he did reach not that he assumed that he reached and like when so when I, you when i read the quran and that and i saw the parentheses in the with the translations in persian or even in translations in, in english it adds lots of bullshit explanation to that that makes Quran look like oh I mean if you can't make Quran look good I don't think that is possible but it does make Quran look a little bit more credible than it should be so as someone who is uh, I guess we're both against Quran for different reason and Islam uh for me it's because it fucked up my country and it's still fucking up my people that is uh, not to use bad language please okay sorry um well it, okay so what I'm saying is that when we are giving some sort of credibility in any way, that's just uh, uh, not, not okay. And also that's like... No, my friend, I, you see, I go, I go. First of all, the word whore today in the Arabian language, have a, have it, it is in the dictionary. And the dictionary give it its meaning. And the meaning is coming as the Arab understood it. So in order to understand the word, we have to take it as it is in Arabic, as the Muslim understand it. And then, as Islam understand it, because this is a word appear is a part of the mythology of the of, of the Islamic religion, and then we can look for the source and we find the, where it's coming from. So, in the Persian, in the Persian, those women are beauty, and they are they are they are white women who they are in heaven, and all the art uh, 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 paint is found by the Persian before Islam for those who present those women are very beautiful, but they are very white. And they have big big round eyes so we have already images of them and you you say the word white or not the word whore is 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 exist uh, even too in the in the uh, aramaic culture women who they are let us say uh, uh, women who live in cities they are considered as part of the whore why because their life is a lot easier they don't work in the field their their life is different so they are white women too so who always was presenting a kind of women who they are white and they are spoiled and they are uh, let's say soft with the skin and they are jailed in their rooms and that is a reason explain why they are so white however the whore in the heaven they are not white only because they are jailed in the room but because Allah he spent 1000 year to soften their skin and to make them white and this is why Muhammad is speaking about women who they are transparent you said that the transparent appear between two the, the two bracket this is to explain but Muhammad he said that it says in Arabic you can see the marrow of their bones through the bones and the flesh so what is between the bracket really is not is not addition it is what Muhammad said exactly I, I had not seen that. I had not that seen that. Um, do, when I asked, do, you know do you know Arabic? Do you know Arabic? Do you know Arabic? It's uh, in front of you. A little bit. I mean, okay. Read it to me. Read it with me. Yeah. Okay. 
لكل امرأ زوجتان من الحور العين يرى مخ سوقهن من وراء العظم واللحم. What does that mean? Exactly what it says between the bracket. Uh, yeah, in this case it does. Okay, so it's not an addition. Had, so when I asked, when I, I did ask for you to show me, you, you did not show me this. You did show me the uh, Quran. Like, no, uh, my friend. I was showing from the beginning. You see, from the no, you didn't have This is the first time. thing I showed. No, you are wrong. If you go in the video, maybe you are not following. The first thing I showed, this is why we start showing pictures in the internet about women doing x ray. I showed them this hadith because somebody said that's not true. So I showed this hadith and I explained it, and then I start showing the pictures. So we mentioned oh, that. Yeah, we I mentioned that already. True. But maybe you are not you are not following. Anything else, my friend? Okay, maybe it was a time that I was look, logging into. Um, no problem. You see, the video is there. You can go back. You just go. Just just go back twenty minutes uh, before, and you will see that I'm showing the. Sure, hair. I will look it up. Hmm. And the other thing is, like you said, that now in Arabic, in Muslim culture, it is assumed as what you said. It means very white. But then when, but before that, you did say that oh, Arabs right now the Muslims when they say it's black eye, it doesn't matter. Uh, it, it it means like this in the Quran. Or it means like this in the uh, original text. So that is kind of a contradiction from you, I guess, because in one area you said it doesn't actually matter what the cu current culture says. On the no, other no, hand, no, 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 you you see, see no, 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 no. You see, I don't understand. I don't know what's what's wrong with you. I said the Muslim in this description to the to the women, the whore, they say they are black-eyed women, right? That's what I said. Yeah. So how they are black-eyed? Yeah. Just listen, listen. How they are black-eyed, which means you can see the color, but yet. I can see through the through the bones. If I can uh, see the eyes, I, I, I cannot defend the Quran. And I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. Defense. You are saying I made a contradiction. Listen, listen. You are not listening. Yeah. I want. I want. I said. I said Muhammad is making some stupid comment here because if you believe that women they are black eyed, but still I can see through their bones. How I can see the eyes? And they are fine eyes for me, which means I cannot see through. You know what I mean? Because if I can see through, the eyes is the same as part of any part of the body. It is the same as a flesh, the same as the skin. So how I can see through all the body through? But are you saying the eyes, which is black, I cannot see through? Because he is saying black eyes. So if they are black eyes, because simply, obviously, I cannot see through. Because if I can see through, the black will not be throw, showing. I mean, even when he says you can see their bones, it's not transparent if you see any part of it. So that's so. No, no, no. It says that you see through their bones to the marrow. You go all the way to the marrow. So that what is it? So that, that's not transparent. No, this transparent, transparent, my friend. No, this this is a transparent up. because because simply an X-ray picture make you see through by avoiding the skin you can go through through so the skin so the, the skin so what is gone now from the body the skin is gone you can't see it it's transparent so what is left the flesh the is gone is transparent but the bones are not transparent That's my friend no the, even the bones are transparent what's wrong with you can't you read it says in the front of you you can see in a marrow do you know what the marrow is okay so the marrow then is not transparent so what is the marrow not because nothing left because there's nothing left behind the marrow that's it what is behind the mirror? What is be if it is okay? Okay, let, let me show you how funny what you are saying. Let me show you what let me show you how funny what you are saying. So now we have women, we can see through their belly, their stomach, their skin, their flesh, their meat, all the way, and then we see their bones, and then we see through their bones. And just because we are not passing the marrow that make them not a transparent. Yes. <laughs> fully, my yeah, friend, do, I, 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 I don't want to waste my time with you. Go, just go. I mean, this is madness. We saw all of this, and now because we are seeing the mirror, they are not transparent. <laughs> Welcome to Afghanistan. Let us go back to the pictures. Hold on. Let me show you the pictures. This guy is very confused. All right. Let us go here.
So we have this woman here. And we were able to go through her skin, her flesh, her bones, and zoom all the way and see what is inside the bones. For this guy, he is claiming that will not make them transparent. Who is the mad person here? What is left? What is left? This is the same as a jellyfish. And by the way, the marrow of the bones is a liquid, is, is, is nothing. So if we can see through the bones, we uh, Muhammad, he did not say, he did not say you cannot see through the marrow. He said you, you will reach all the way to the marrow, which means nothing left. Because this is the way you can see from every side. If this is not a transparent, what will make transparent for this person? I don't know. That's why I don't want to waste my time with you. You are just trying to argue for no reason. And because they are so white, you can see through. When Muhammad he promised the Muslims to attack the Roman and get the blonde women. Why he is promising that? Because the Arab, they like white women. They are obsessed with white color. And the more the woman is white, the more is sexy for them, and the more she is a sexual object. And this is why the promises of Muhammad, that all of them, the Arab, will be so white, all the women in heaven, they will be extremely white to the point you can see through, even the boys in the heaven, Muhammad, he described them as pearls, which mean extremely, extremely white. If we go in the Quran, oops, we are typing in English. You will see the following. Chapter 76, verse number 19. Do you see it? They are like pearls. What is the color of the pearls? He is describing even the boys who would be around you naked as very white pearls. For this is the ultimate beauty for the Arab. The more white you are, the more beautiful you are. There is no black in the heaven of Allah. No black servants, no black boys, no black women, no black men, no black angels. Everybody in the heaven of Allah is white and extremely white. But the reason made him go extreme more than the rest in the whitening of the women because the women are the object which the men, they enjoy very much. And the more they are white, the more they are beautiful for the Muslim men. And this is why he went so far in his exaggeration Claiming that they are so white to the point you can see through. You know, uh, <clears throat> there is many examples present to us the white meaning of the whole line. If somebody can help me and find me this uh, this fatwa here, this is a fatwa. Let me give it to you. Maybe somebody can find it in English because usually this website they make a copy for the same fatwa in two languages. Somebody can find it, find it in English, please. Let me show you what this fatwa is saying. صفات حور العين في الكتاب والسنة 
ما وصف الحور العين مما ورد في الكتاب والسنة فتوى نمبر 60188 The description of the hur of Ain of from the book which means the Quran and the Sunnah which means the Hadith and the book of Sirah and here he start describing for us the description of whatever you will have in the heaven then he say here كَأَمْثَالِ لُؤْلِئِ المكنون. They are very similar to the sacred or sacred uh, 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 pearls, like the one you hide. كَأَنَّهُنَّ لُؤْلُؤُ الْأَبْيَضُ الرَّطْبُ الصَّافِ البهي. Let me take this into translation and translate what it says there. All right? Let me open Google Translation first. Hold on. Because this guy is just convinced that, you know, we are not uh, accurate. Let us see if we are accurate or not. Okay, Google Translation. All right. This is Google Translation. Copy-paste. Oh, we paused the whole link. Hold on. Copy. As if they are wet, uh, pure white, wet white pearls. Do you see it? What he meant by the wet white pearls? The pearls, before they grow and became mature, they are see-through, like a jellyfish, because they are not solid yet. They are the same as a pure white, wet pearls. The one you see, just is, it is still in the water and is still in the stage of a growing. It is a youth stage. And then you will see how white and how see-through. They are white, yet you can see through. They are pearls, yet you can see through. And they are, you know, they are wet to the point you can even destroy them. They are not so hard, not so strong. You can break them easy too, which means those women, they are the same as a spoiled, easy to break because they are so soft. They are so yummy. They are so like grape. Actually, the word hor is originally is, is mentioned in the Aramaic language uh, as, uh, as a grape. The grape is a fruit you can see through. You can see the seeds. And there is a two German uh, who made their own research in the Quran. And they studied the Aramaic and they are scholars. They are not just uh, anyone. They claim that the word hur in the Quran have nothing to do with the word women. It's coming from the Aramaic language, which is the grape. The grape which you see through. However, that can be true. If we don't have hadith from Muhammad speaking about women who you can see through. So maybe the origin of the women is coming from the Persian and maybe the Aramaic they took it from them or the, the Persian took it from the Aramaic we do not know and it's about something very beautiful and you can see through and this is a description of the beauty and Muhammad he took it and he made it clear that those are who they are so beautiful they are white like pearls can we make it more clear than this I mean, what is more than this to make it clear with? You can go and you can search Islamic website and you will see how many times they will speak about the whitening and how white they are. If you go actually here, let me show you this one. قال ابن زيد قوله كأنهن اليقوت والمرجان Explanation. Allah, he said that they are the same as yaqut and Murjan. What does that mean? كأنهن اليقوت في الصفاء والمرجان في البياض 
Let us copy, translate. Like spear? I don't know what that word in English how to say it. Like sapphire and sapphire. serenity, corals in whiteness, purity of sapphire, whiteness of pearl whiteness. Okay. So look how, how, how much they insist about the whiteness. Look how many times the word whiteness is, is repeated. Because the whole point is to speak about how white they are. So even all Muslim scholars, they cannot get out of what this whole is about. It's about being very white, extremely white. And it doesn't matter if they are sapphire or they are pearls, they are still so, so, so white. Like sapphire in serenity, corals in whiteness, purity of sapphire, whiteness of pearl whiteness. This is all is coming from their own scholars' explanation. And the funny still, somebody will say to me, you just say the contradiction. It doesn't say that. Uh, Yeah, here there's a list of description and uh, here you will see there's a hadith let me show you this one actually it's the same one we are showing in English about uh, uh, because even the same hadith we are showing in English is speaking about being white if you read here with me you see the Muslim translation is false the Muslim translation says the first group enter the heaven the first batch they will be they will enter paradise and they will be glitt glittering like a full moon. The fact they will be so white, bright white, like a full moon. And the second batch next to them will be gl glittering like the most brilliant star. From what? From being white. And then he continues speaking about the whitening of those people who will be in heaven to the point he go and speak about the Huris who they are very white to the point he can see through. So all the story here is about white people enter in heaven and white people who they are in heaven so there's two kind of white people there's white who they are coming from out the heaven those are the muslims and there is white who they are inside the heaven who they are the women the huris and the children's all right this is why you see in the quran Muhammad he said in the Quran, the day faces will turn white and faces will turn black. Some Muslims they try to fool you, they say this is a metaphorical meaning that at that day you, you, you know your face will turn black, which means you will be unhappy and lucky. And the one who is face turned white, he is the lucky one. It's a metaphorical. The fact is not. This is about you turning white and turning black in that day for a very simple reason. All Muslims, Allah will make them white. All non-Muslims, Allah will make them black. If you want to know the interpretation of this verse, the best to, to find is to go to chapter 27, verse number 82, where it says clearly that in that day, Allah will send a beast, it's called a jassasa, and this beast is going to hit the Muslim in his face and will make him total white and is going to hit the infidel in his face and is going to make him totally black but if you insist to be stubborn this is your business you know for me i present my evidence i don't say anything without proving it everything i say here it come with a proof and reference and actually i would try to find the the persian book we're speaking about the color of those women because it mentioned their color, how beautiful they are. I don't know what's wrong with this website. I'm clicking at the tafsir, it's not opening. So, everything in front of us is speaking about the white color. The white color is so important in Islam. Even the Muslims, when they describe their prophet, they speak about him, how white he is. There's a hadith that says the one who said the prophet is a black, kill him. As simple as that. I don't know why this website is not working. 
uh oh a Muslim website and I get a dog that's not good <laughs> Allah will be unhappy <laughs> oh boy let us try again look like they have a problem anyway but you know I still uh, I'm not upset from this guy for what he said uh, he is doing his best trying to uh, you know uh, to discuss something but is it about whitening it's about whitening everything in Islam about whitening and those who is about white women and even not a single Muslim disagree with me not even a single one and this is my challenge can you find me one Muslim scholar don't agree that the whore is about white women it's a challenge if we go here in chapter 27 let us go there verse number 82 this is speaking about the emerge of the beast which is called al jassasa and is going to come from that from the ground is have a funny look uh, however this beast is going to make all the Muslims white and all the non-Muslims black is going to have the staff of Moses a beast will emerge from the earth and with it will be the staff of Moses and the ring of Solomon uh, peace upon both it will strike the nose of the believers with the staff and it will make the face of the, the believer bright with the ring. All right. Uh, until people gather to eat and people recognize each other by the color. Here it says, read carefully with me, it will strike the nose of the believers with the ring and it will make the face of the believer bright with the staff. Until when people gather for a meal, they will say, all uh, one to other all believer or disbeliever how they know each other from the color so if you are a white white you are a believer if you are a black you are a disbeliever you are a christian prince and here you will see read carefully there will be no believer left without making a white spot in his face which will spread until his face is shining white as a result and there will be no disbeliever left without it making a black spot in his face which will spread until all his face black as a result do you see it so we are not making things up my friend everything we say is coming with the proofs and reference so islam concentrate very much on the color all the believers are white all disbelievers are black and obviously in Islam black is a punishment actually Muhammad he said in different hadith and this is a hadith mentioned by uh, uh, you know by one of you call, call me once here and remind me of it about Allah will hit a, a, when he created the black he created them from the shoulder of uh, of Adam and he said let them go to hell and he created the white from the right shoulder of Adam and he said let them go to heaven so Allah before he created us according to Islam he decided that all white they will go to hell and all black will go to uh, all white will go to heaven sorry and all all black will go to hell do we have any Muslim here in this agreement anyone and thank you for this uh, Afghani uh, gentleman who called me anyway even if you don't agree that's no problem I understand any Abdul do we have any Abdul in the bushes actually I'm glad that this Afghani person who called us he left Islam himself that's good and you know, if you go to Afghanistan, they will say to you, everybody is a Muslim. Here we go. The guy who called us, he's from Afghanistan, and he's out of this cult. And he was saying the F word to his prophet and to his Quran. But we don't like to hear the F word, you know, when you talk to us, please. Yeah, the Abdul is eating, not fasting. What are you talking about? The Abdul are fasting. 
Since when they fast? They're watching porn now. Uh, not 70,000 years, 1,000 years. Allah, he softened the skin of the virgin 1,000 years. Uh, I'll try to find it for you, Cole. Yeah, Allah, he spent 1,000 years to soften the skin of the whore. I think Allah he did not hear about Vaseline. Get get some Nivea. I mean, why take you one thousand year, man? Make a plastic surgery. Why those women they are made from alligator skin? What is that? I will try to find the hadith in English actually. I will see if I can find it. Maybe you can search in English and see if you can find it. Otherwise, then we have to find it in Arabic. Do we have any Muslim? Imagine God, he spent 1,000 years to soften the skin of a woman. And yet they say to us that Allah is the Almighty and if you want something to be, he say be. And it's going to be done. But yet it's going to take him 1,000 years to soften a woman's skin. Any Abdul? Anyone? No Muslim. Nobody. Actually, there is a video. Uh, I used to play in Pal Talk. It was very funny. It is in English. It's not the D show, I think. I will try. It. Maybe I can get it. Because he described the versions. Let us see. Any more time? I'm trying to find that video it would be good to have it Well, I will, I will try to find it. 
I used to play this video actually in in uh, in YouTube in uh, Pal Talk, and people they die laughing when they hear it. It's it's hilarious, really. The Muslim guy he is describing the skin of the Hori, the breast of the Hori, the nipples of the Hori, their fingers, their nails, uh, their asses. I mean, he this guy he got it's like a porn movie. However, it is it was a very comedy because it's a video and you will see the faces of the Muslims in the video how everybody his mouth is open and most of them they are maybe masturbating like every Abdul his face like huh it's a it's a porn and this is why the Muslims they want to do suicide you see those desperate in in Gaza they know if they uh, if they pass the border, they, they will shoot at them. Still, they will go because they are desperate. They want to go and get the versions. They tell them, why you want to live? Brother, why you want to live? Go and die as a murderer, and then Allah will send you right now. Today, today, my, uh, the second you die, the second you die, Allah will give you different skin, different face, different body, and you will be in heaven, and women, they will be lying up in front of you asking them to bang, bang. Why you want to stay alive? Why you are staying here? What for? This is why they are lining up to die, because this cult is is a, is a is amazing the way it it make those people not do you think everybody is horny. It speak to your balls, speak to your testicles, speak to your sexual desire, taking over you in a sexual way, make you think. Of nothing except dying so you can get that in the same time you will not see the sheikh who teach them to do that he is willing to do that because he's mature he has an adult he knew that this is a lie otherwise why he don't do that Osama bin Laden he was sending his men to die and do commit suicide bombing but yet he was hiding between four goats and two wives in a villa why Osama bin Laden don't take one of the airplanes and join his men and die with them if he was a believer? Why he don't want to go to heaven? Why Muhammad was saying to the Muslims, go and fight and die for the sake of Allah so you can go to heaven, but yet he do not go and fight. He stay always in the back line. Why the leaders of Hamas they always stay in the back line. Why Al Khomeini don't send his son to die in war with the Mujahideen? Why the president of Iran? Why the Mullah? Why the Khamenei? They don't send their sons to die fighting with Hezbollah against Israel. Why their sons study in America and they study in France and study in England? Why the son of Erdogan, who is a very good believer, is studying in England and doing business in England, and he have a bar in England, but he don't go and join the Mujahideen? Because none of them believe in the Quran. Only, you know, Islam, Islam is a religion of the desperate poor. People are sick of their life, and they want to die. And they cannot find a reason to kill themselves, which is accepted by the society, except committing suicide for the sake of Allah. As simple as that. Two days ago, when we have a live broadcast late at night, which is morning in the time of Asia, one of you told me that an attack happened in a police station. After 20 minutes, I found that four Muslim attack a police station. Guess by what? Anyone knows by what? You believe it or not, by swords. I mean, how stupid, how dummy, how crazy, how foolish those people are. Attacking police station by swords? Obviously, they want to die. Because you attack by the sword, the, the police have guns. You know, there's no, there's no discussion about who's going to win this fight. So they are attacking to be shot. They wanted to be shot. And the only answer for that, they are poor, desperate. They want to go to heaven to get the sex 
they are sex perverted people they don't believe in Allah they don't believe in heaven they don't believe in Muhammad all what they want is their balls those people they are perverted minded people they are desperate to get sex all of Islam is about one thing sex those are suicide for sex not suicide for Allah those are suicide for their penises not for suicide for Allah they don't care for Allah if there is no sex in paradise there is no Allah for them ask yourself if Allah did not promise them a lot of women in paradise who is going to commit suicide nobody nobody this is the whole point promising sex is for a reason all the promises you see is to make you a stupid foolish person who make your dream come true what is your dream I want to be a white person because society around me it's an Arab racist society says the Arab are the handsome if they are white if you have a little bit darker skin that's mean you are not handsome so the more white you are the more handsome you are so we have a society driven by the color women the more they are white the more they are beautiful then heaven it's a heaven for the Arab who like white women who like white skin so the heaven is a white place for the white people for the white Arab for it is made to fit with the mentality of the Arab the per, the version the who the the the, uh, 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 the the boys uh, uh, you me all of us if we go to the heaven of Allah all of us we will be white because Muhammad is making false promises anyway what do you want I like to be white okay you will be white what do you want I like to drink wine okay you will have a river of wine what do you want I'm a Bedouin I, I hate the Sun okay in the heaven you will have shade shade have you ever heard of God a promise new shade in the heaven Allah promised me a pillow and yellow and, and mellow and watermelon those are promises for desperate people who have nothing he buy you by the temptation temptation is what is the driving Muslims when a Muslim he pray to Allah is he's pray to Allah for what reason to pay with God or to get the versions is to get the versions in the heaven of Allah in, in case you do not know there is no Muslim will pray to God there is no mosque there is no morning prayer there is no noon prayer there is no afternoon prayer there is no prayer forever no Muslim will pray all your heaven is a heaven of what is a heaven of sex and shish kebab that is what Islam is about anyway guys time is up I better go I need to get the grass and my neighbor is doing it already and I better get the grass because I heard that if I don't get the grass the city will not deliver version to my yard we have a new mayor in the city and he made it clear every citizen who cut his grass we will give him a version and she is going to be very white hmm so I better cut the grass otherwise I will not get the version see here we go we got a motive to cut the grass I wasn't really thinking about cutting the grass but now I heard that I will get a version I mean who can I have to sacrifice cutting the grass now so I can get the version this is the this is the motive always you have to create a motive for the naive crazy stupid idiot so he can do stupid things for you so go and die for me and you will get a version don't you want a version okay die you cannot get them unless you die first die first and okay that's amazing the promise I mean people they will get what they what, what he promised them after they die or meet me one day you get screwed you die for nothing there's no version waiting for you you idiot there's no boys there's no versions there's no zucchini there's no ajwa there's no river of wine there's no river of milk you get screwed as simple as that keep it dreaming about your versions and let us see if you ever will get them Thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you, all of you. And until we see you soon again, maybe tomorrow at 4.30, maybe, I hope so. Until then, I say may the Lord bless you and keep you in good health and wealth. 
don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about what we do and if you like to contact me feel free to contact me either in Skype or Patreon or even in Facebook whatever you wish Christ is Lord Islam is false and my wish in the heaven that God make me black it's my wish and obviously my wish don't fit with Islam at all and I don't want to be a Muslim thank you very much see you soon bye-bye